today's makeup look because we have blue liner popping with some blue earrings. Should I like do a video on this look because I'm really loving this pop of color and it matches. No, I won't do because then I'd have to wear this outfit again and I'll have to like do it. the channel if you knew it's Sahara so today we are going to be focusing in on tools to use to apply your makeup <laughs> I feel like we focus in on the makeup itself but how do we get there that's what we need to zero in on today I keep them in this thing that spins around this is just one of those supply storage bins that you can get from like Staples even Walmart it has different sections which really helped me to break down the brushes so I have eye brushes in one face brushes in three different compartments so foundation bronzer blush highlighter and powder and then some tools in the center i keep all of my sponges in this thing that i got from the dollar tree in this little basket to actually clean my brushes i use this sponge that i got from bh cosmetics it says bh studio pro it has two different um sides to it one which is better for like smaller brushes and another one which is well the other side which is better for bigger brush brushes because it has longer bristles oh my gosh I recently found this one at the dollar tree that i showed in a short haul by lab two oh live and breathe beauty that's what it's the name of this brand that just randomly popped up at the dollar tree for a dollar 25 of course and it has three different sections to it so like i said this one has the two different ones this one has one two and then three and on this side you have a little part where you can put your brushes down in so that they can dry after this is something that i would say is better for it looks like a bar so but it's better for like travel purposes i'm pretty sure you're not going to bring a whole big tub of brushes like this so <laughs> that should be enough to hold the brushes that you would need to clean on the go the next type of brush cleaner it's not necessarily a cleaner it's more like a switcher the eyeshadow switching sponge change eyeshadow colors instantly from sassy and chic i bought this at the dollar tree again for a dollar 29 and it comes with a little bristle um a brillo pad <laughs> sponge that's cut into a circle oh, dang that went everywhere Ooh, it's messy oh it's still wet in there are you serious or is that just a um, condensation is that what it's called <laughs> as you're applying your makeup if you need to use the stain brush but you have eyeshadow residue left over from the eyeshadow you just applied you just use this to switch it and it does an excellent job I'm telling you like it literally looks like the brush is clean after you use this but this is not going to replace cleaning your brushes this is just for the moment <laughs> in the moment after you clean your brushes this was actually sold at the dollar tree i haven't seen it in a long time and again it was a dollar 25 you just put your brushes in mine is very dusty because it look at how it's busted like this i need to hot glue it it just turns your brushes upside down like this i have allergies this needs to go over here <laughs> and also when it comes to like cleaning your brushes and stuff like that I would recommend any type of brush cleanser if you don't feel like spending like up to $20 because sometimes you don't want to have to keep spending that much especially when you spend money on everything else um, dish detergent is really good hand soap is really good like I use Dawn and you know Dawn will get them dishes clean right and they will get your brushes clean right as well the craziest thing is I had all of my brushes laid out last night I was like okay I'm gonna talk about it like brows brush um, primer all of that different stuff screwed it up <laughs> I don't apply apply brow pomades or sometimes I'll apply a brow, brow powder if I feel like like the tail for an example needs it like I draw my um brows in straight and the brow product I use is pretty good but sometimes I'll feel like I need to draw it in and for that the best brush you can use is a small angle brush this one is from the Morphe set and it also has the bristles on the back so you can soften it out and brush it through if you feel like you pack too much in one section I'm trying to go through all of the steps that we use for eyeshadow primer you can of course use your finger the brush to me doesn't necessarily really matter but sometimes I'll go in with this this small flat 
round brush it's from the BH cosmetics gold set and it just really helps to pack on the primer or if I need to clean up my brows sometimes even though I apply my my brows thin now I feel like I'll bring it down too far and I think I did it today <laughs> Now moving on to face primer. Again, this is another set where you can just use your hands, but sometimes everyone does not like to use their hands, which is why e.l.f. when they recently came out with, I think, another one of their putty primers, they came out with a putty primer brush. So one side is a scoop and the other side is a brush that will just look something like this e.l.f foundation brush it'll look like that and you could blend it out dual fiber brushes they don't the brushes oh my god if i go through this video and not being able to speak i'm done the bristles on dual fiber brushes are so thin and loose that it won't hold a lot of product the way other brushes do so i feel like this is really good at blending it around and it's also good for liquids i just have three of these dual fiber brushes from bh cosmetics gold um silver set there's different sets they have the gold set rose gold and the silver set so that's what how i'll just be explaining it i have a bunch of different foundation brushes but i'm going to limit you guys down to two foundation brushes that are my favorite listen like i said these brushes are interchangeable nobody ever said that one brush has to be for a specific application on your face you can use brushes for anything yesterday and today i was out here using this angled blush brush to apply my foundation and it did pretty good <laughs> this is from the um, bh cosmetics set how do they say it there's no rule to apply makeup and there's no rule to the tools you use to apply makeup i have the morphe m439 brush which is a round buffing brush this one is just really good for flawless application but it really buffs around that foundation really really well jaclyn hill i think she's the one who put most of us on to this brush and then the next brush i have is the japanese 709 brush this one another flawless finish it is so soft but the one thing that i like about this brush that's different from this one is that this has has those angled edges where it looks like a triangular shape so you can get in those creases around here really really well so that's what's good about a brush like this and again it has like that kabuki type of flat top to it or concealer of course you can use sponges let's also talk about some sponges as well because I feel like sponges are great for foundation and concealer so let's talk about it now it's like this one from the Dollar Tree Fenty Beauty elf cosmetics this? Sonia Kashik and a bunch of these black ones from the Dollar Tree there's so many different places now that you can get sponges that you couldn't back then because you have to have a specific type of sponge some sponges are just like way too hard like to me even though I really like these Sonia Kashik ones they don't have that much squishy bounce to it like something like an elf one does you don't want it to be too like squishy but you don't want it to be too firm you want something like right there in the middle and i feel like most of those sponges that i mentioned even this new one that i recently got from the dollar tree can do that for you and they're good for blending out pretty much anything cream liquid foundation concealer cream bronzer cream blush highlighter all of that different stuff and again for blending out concealer you can use a sponge but a brush that i like to use for concealer sometimes is the real technique setting brush i know that this was always used to actually set your concealer with powder but this is really good for blending out concealer as well i also have recently been loving these flat foundation brushes to blend out the concealer i think they do really well because there's this point towards the middle of the brush so you can get right in the creases this is the bh cosmetics brush from rose gold set this is the lancome number two foundation brush for cream bronzer these two are my faves so i have the elf sculpting face brush and not only are these good for blending out cream bronzer but if you have cream contour or a neutral bronzer that leans in the middle of a contour in a bronzer shade these brushes are great this one right here has this thin shape to it it does have a little dip in the middle as well so it really hugs the cheeks i didn't apply a strong contour today so my cheeks may look a little bit puffier than they should <laughs> this one right here i would say is also really great for bronzer and contour as you can see the difference this one has like i said a more thin shape this one is smaller but it has a rounder shape so i feel like this will be great for like i said if you have something leaning more like a cream contour and this would be great for if you have something leaning more like a cream bronzer because it's a little bit wider and by the way this is from hard candy it did come in a set so if you can find this brush or something like it like i said i think it is 
great. You don't want to apply it too wide on a face. You want to stick in this area and then of course, like I said, you can go back in with the sponge and tap it out and blend it out the rest of the way, but you don't want to apply it too wide. For cream blush, the one, the only, <laughs> the Colored Rain Small Angled Face Brush. Recently, I don't know if it's between, yeah, I think it's between last year and this year, these type of angled brushes have become more popular. I know um, Sephora has their brush collection that has this in different sizes, but this is perfect for cream blush. Gets right here. This would also be great for cream bronzer as well. You could just apply it in the, not, not the nose, don't apply a brush like this with the nose, you will screw it up. The bristles are so soft, and I'm telling you, there's something about this type of brush that has this color to it. Let me show you guys. You guys see the, that type of color where it starts out dark and then there's like a black line and then it goes to be being like gray. Like there's just something about these brushes that do that. <laughs> they just, they just get different. For highlighter, no matter if it's cream, well, I don't know necessarily know about cream with this type of brush, but liquid, oh my gosh, doesn't matter if you apply it on top of your foundation or on top of powder that has already set. You know, sometimes when you apply your powder and then you go to apply like your cream or liquid on top, it'll lift it up. Not with this brush. This is the best highlighter brush I've ever used. And this is the Morphe M501 brush. I don't know, is it just because these bristles are long and loose or something like that? But this brush applies highlighter so beautifully and it doesn't apply it very wide and it doesn't apply like a little thin little line and it does not pick up the products that you already have laid down. Let's talk about setting. I have like a couple of different brushes for that which like I said some of these brushes are not meant for that certain step but I'll use it anyway. To set under the eyes with powder again you can use the Real Techniques setting brush. This is great like I said for setting concealer and setting the powder on top. My favorite all-time favorite um, brush to set the face with especially if you have dry skin. You still want to set your foundation but you don't want to go in packing a lot if you have dry skin and this is perfect for that. This is the Japanese brush. Japanese I think their site is still up but you can find Japanese at Marshalls or TJ Maxx if you struggle to find some of these brushes in certain places just go to one of those stores and you'll run into a lot of these brush brands but this one like I said it just applies it so lightweight and the bristles are loose another brush to set under the eyes with powder is this elf small tapered brush like it says it's tapered and that's what I meant to say because I've been calling these points they're tapered brushes where they um kind of go up towards the middle and this is great for setting under the eyes it does pack a little bit more on but it has like the perfect shape for doing that another brush that i have been using to set certain areas i may use it for bronzer and blush it's meant for bronzer and blush i think but sometimes i've been setting it under the eyes especially this side right here i used it the other day to really press under there because sometimes my concealer is not fully set this brush because it's so small it can pack the powder right under there and make sure it's set and it won't crease that much so this is the Lancome 25 brush number 25 cheek and contour one side is like this flat fluffy side this is how it looks on the side and the other side is this smaller short side almost like a flat kabuki brush but dang this would be extra small <laughs> concealers oh no I need to wash that brush let me put it back over here some of these brushes are really dirty <laughs> cream and powder contour for the nose. I feel like nose is just so important to get that right that right look. Sometimes I go for brushes and sponges way too big. Small angled brushes like this. This still has like a little bit of blending power to it but it's not too wide where it's going to apply to apply too much. The BH Cosmetics brush and this does a great job at doing that and then after using this brush you can always go in with this flat brush that like I said this is the brush that I use to blend out my um, eyeshadow primer sometimes but this is really great at blending out your nose contour too so after you apply it with a brush like this blend it out with a brush like this to actually apply highlighter on the nose this is the morphe brush it's just one of these little fine tip brushes that have like that tapered look to it but it's just really small and this is great for applying the highlighter in the inner corner in your inner tear duct or on the nose as well also one of these flat brushes these are i think this is the elf 
professional concealer brush this is really great for applying that highlighter down the bridge of your nose as well and on your brow bone another brush that I would recommend for nose especially is this dupe for the NARS Eda brush I do not think this is still available but if you can find a brush like this um, I do think that no I do know that I forgot the brand like I know what I know but I don't know the name of the brand <laughs> They're popular for their blushes Benefit, I'm thinking about BH Cosmetics. Benefit has brushes like this in their square blush and highlighter boxes. <laughs> so yeah, brushes like this are great for applying nose contour and bronzer as well. This is also great for applying nose, I mean like face bronzer and contour. And this is also great for cleaning up. So if you wanted to just swipe it along here, you know, sometimes you bring your bronzer or contour down too far and you need to clean it up. This is a great brush for doing that as well. I haven't used it in a while. I need to use it, but I have it in a different section in here remind myself to take that mess out let's go ahead and move on to eye brushes to apply highlighter in the inner corner or the brow bone the two where did it go Love it. <laughs> yeah the two brushes that i mentioned before so the concealer brush and a small tapered brush to apply that brow bone highlight or in the inner corner then like i said the other brushes to tap out the primer for the eyeshadow base now let's get into blending there's so many different blending brushes out here i swear we're like tapping right in the crease like getting right in there bh cosmetics brush this is a small round brush <laughs> and then going in with that second shade after using this blending brush to blend around that shade like on top of it and around it is this morphe blending brush this is great this has a little bit of product on it let me show the clean version of that one this blending brush right here is great for blending the shades after you've applied that crease shade because it's not too big and wide so it won't take it up too far a brush like this this fluffier brush can be too wide but if you want like a more blown out look then i would recommend a brush like this that i use from bh cosmetics if you don't have a brush like this or you can't find a brush like this to like really tap some good crease brushes especially some detailed ones are all from elf okay a detail crease brush tapered blending brush pointed eye pencil brush crease brush i know you can look at all of these brushes and ask well what the what's the difference that's exactly what i said i said to myself i don't get it when i seen them online i was like what's the difference between this one that one this one that one this one that one this one i was like you know what they're cheap just add them all to the cart pick whatever one i like out of the bunch it's just gonna depend on the look you're going for some of them can get in that detail some may be a little bit more fluffier than others but they're still great for the crease your lid shade you know like your shimmers and stuff like that i would definitely recommend some of these flat brushes bh cosmetics with a thin flat brush like this you'll be able to get closer to that crease for an example if you did not want to cut the crease or you did cut the crease and you just need to get in a little bit closer a flat brush like that is really good flat long one this one is a flat one as well but it's a little bit thicker so this is great for packing on the shade this angled one is still a flat brush but it's more it's just a little bit more angled you can see how higher up it is that is great for applying your um cut creases so if you go back in with your eyeshadow base it'll um really help you to cut the crease with a brush like this or you can just go in with a flat brush and you know just pack it on but i do like these angled brushes to each its own did i use that brush it looks a little dirty okay no i didn't use it <laughs> did i no i use this one okay when you're applying your wing liner or graphic liner looks just depends on when you get it where you get it from i think this one either came from the dollar tree or michael's different places has good crafting brushes so you can also use crafting brushes you don't even have to use cosmetics brushes morphe has a good one too i think pretty much every brand has just like a liner brush you definitely want to pay attention to the type of bristles that a liner brush has some of them are a little bit more fluffier some are thinner some are shorter depending on where you get it from michael's dollar tree they'll say like fractions on them three fourths one half so that'll let you know how big or how small that thin liner brush is so try to get the thinnest one i would say if you have smudge pot liners angled brushes morphe 
this brush right here that you would use for your brows this is really good at applying that liner that you need to take across the lid and wing it out this is also great as well this is a little bit smaller than that morphe one from bh cosmetics so i would recommend an even smaller one if you are afraid Okay, my temperature got too hot on my camera. It went off itself. If you are afraid that you're gonna apply too much liner on the on the lash line, then don't go in with a angled brush that wide. Go in with something smaller like this that's still angled that um, you can apply that liner closer to your lid. I think this is the last part. For the lower lash line, really hard sometimes to get the right brushes for that because you can easily take your brushes down, not your brushes, but your eyeshadow down too far on the lower lash line. That's some trouble that I had the other day that I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do a video on this. Get it right. <laughs> they almost look like an angled brush, but it has no angle to it. It's a defining brush. So this is great for stamping that eyeshadow right there. You could blend a little bit out, but this is just going to be really great for um, stamping it on. Some brushes that are good for blending them out a little bit because again, you don't want to take it down too far. A brush like this that has the more tapered look to it let me show you guys the difference this is the BH cosmetics this is the morphe brush both of these brushes have that small tapered look to it but this one is just easier to blend with than this one this is more like a pointed look to it and this has a little bit more of a blend to it so both of these are going to be great for blending under here but it just depends on how much you want to blend also um, a pointed eye pencil brush will be great for blending underneath and also the actual crease brush from elf the elf detail crease brush little small one these are really great you don't want to go in with a blending brush like this that I showed earlier from the for the crease from Morphe you don't want to go in with a blending brush like that to blend out the lower lash line so I hope you you guys <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video was helpful when deciding what type of brushes, even if you don't use these specific brands, just knowing the type of brushes for a specific feature on the face that you need to apply it and apply it right. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.